Oh man. <laughs> It's all good. <laughs> There's a <the> chin. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Ba ba ba. Get grade on the lab stream version. Where you ask questions, I get to answer them. Let's see if anybody else actually wants to participate in. Uh, uh, So let's see y'all things I need to respond to hook oh on Let's just get right into it. Huh? Oh, yeah, those were those. That was fun. Me, me and Doc usually go even. Those, those were pretty fun. I wasn't expecting him to pull out the fortune though. He usually plays his, uh, was it Peacock, Big Man, and Annie. <laughs> At least Annie point recently. But I guess we've given up the Annie. Go for the neck and cat. Ba ba ba. I guess that should be that. Uh, let's see. I am missing something here. There is this. Excellent. This POV, cool beans. There. Check out the game. Here we are. Okay. I've been training mode. Let's do this. I am down for today. Let's see. Uh, the twins. And here. Cool. All right. Welcome to Skullgirls Get Great, the Answer Your Questions edition. Let's see how what questions we've got for today. I think I haven't totally updated it yet because I needed to add the ones in for the next to get great see here make sure i have up-to-date questions so far i think it, there's at least a month backlog since the uh, last time we took a break okay what questions you want to be answered in the lab Oosh. this too Oh. Uh, swoosh. Can see everything. Um, bum, 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 bum. where is it? Swoosh. Name man, oh, can't type. So. Oh, 
Okay, cool. All these questions. All right, let's get through a couple of these then. Let's see what's going on here. We're starting back in July. Oh my god. Heck. Re! <laughs> Understandable. Uh, sorry, I'm going back and forth between LNL and Copter Assist for Fuqua. Uh, LNL if you want the damage, Copter Assist if you want the pressure. It all depends on what you're trying to achieve in your neutral plan. Um, either or works, to be honest. Do hella damage with either. I was just looking at some. Uh, does double have counterplay for Bayou games? Start H chair. Yes, they do. That's from Seikatsu, who's also here. So let's actually get the Beowulf out here then. If we want Beowulf at round start. Uh, you play double point, so I'm just going to put double point right there. And Beowulf. Where are you at? Here. Favorite stage. Do that. Go up. Turning options. Where are you at? Tell me to record back. Hiya. Round start. Cool. Let's do both. Double does this. Yeah. <laughs> you up back that much. I mean, there's there's a couple you could do this. Good. You could uh do one of these. That bank is really kind of like your you know, I'll forward. It depends on when they when they start it. But you can you can I can um what do you call it? You can um what's it called? My brain with terminology. Um chicken block land gets a punish kind of thing. Same for fortune, yeah. <laughs> Especially better for Fortune because she can she has the five frame jab, so you can actually just jab on shit. You can also just whoop. Let's see, let's see. That you can just do that. If if you think they're gonna do that, this is also super risky because the hitbox. But uh, since H shares a projectile, he can phase through it. Yeah, that's a thing. There's potential for you to jump over it, uh, but you have to preempt jumping pretty hard. Um, but otherwise, you can just dash block, do a thing, you can continue blocking. That kind of thing. Uh, normally you would you wouldn't you, you wouldn't direction dash, but you know that kind of thing. Put two buttons back, that would work out to your advantage. Uh, you drop Bella for broken cat girl. Broken cat girl's pretty good. Can confirm. Okay, let's see here. How to handle grab tech versus push blocking. The buttons are placed in a way it's hard to have both ready at once. Uh, grab tech versus push blocking. Uh, that honestly is just something, that's from Orient 34, that's honestly just something you have to get used to. Um, it, I will argue that it's a lot easier to do it on controller because you could just have a macro setup and just hit left bumper uh, and then just use your thumb to press uh, square and X. Uh, if you're using DS4, uh, otherwise that's X and A. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's our, that's just kind of kind of have to get used to that. If you're like playing on stick or something like that, you need to. Uh, you, it's even more of a reason to try to just get used to it. Like um, you can you can change the position of the way you have your hand to have three fingers on both grab and push block. Um, so index on what would be like kick, uh, middle or ring. Uh, yeah, middle on I can light punch and then ring on medium punch. And that way you could actually have it ready all at once. Uh, ooh, I got a ping. Let's see what's going on. Ew. Yeah. Ooh, ducks and locals, oh man. Uh, so let's see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Boosh. 
Okay, general pain will match up advice, please. That was from Temple Town. Or para and or double. Uh, so that generally, both para and double. Dang. Two of the better matchups against pain will actually. Because um, I play this, I think, shot and double. Uh, slide. I didn't hit both buttons. There we go. Slide. This is a. Put pain will Fuku on the other side. Because why not? Here. Uh, dangled pain will versus dangled parasol versus pain wheel. Um, you've got a lot of things that you can go up against uh, versus a pain wheel. So if pain wheel is a uh, these slides the future. So these slides have been around for at least a good year and a half or so. It's it's still pretty good. Ba -ba -ba -ba. A bit cruel payback, kind of a big thing. Uh, well, certainly not that. But uh, let's put myself here. Uh, pain will doing this. No, nope. that kind of thing. Like you have options against that pretty easily, especially if you preempt it. Like you could just, you know. There's possibilities for, you know. That's kind of like the big matchup thing you need to go up against. Uh, if you see that the pain was just kind of flying around and stuff, you know, use your tears to your advantage. You can do whatever the heck here. Make sure you protect yourself up front. Go up here. Use M. Uh, use M tier often to be able to contest when the pain was going to come in or come out. Usually they're calling assists, so it's just good to have tears on the screen anyway. With buttons, get yourself some less space. Yeah, normally you just want to protect the space in front of you and around you when you're a uh, parasol, and then just kind of consider that space. You know, if they're going to be charging normals at you, just light punch, light kick, confirm with JHP to get the, uh, the knockdown, and then get the OTG. Um, if you're heckin' playing as a like a double. Uh, let me turn this off right here. Double. Uh, Double's got an easier time because of all the normals that she has. Uh, so, for doing the same sort of thing, right? Uh, Double's got an easier time. I said it was a fever dream. <laughs> uh, Double's got JMP to be able to, con to contest with that nonsense. Uh, even Avery is like a thing that could be used, like tr trade at worst get a combo at best um, so otherwise you know uh, if there's just a heckin pain wheel on the screen just use any of the multi hits that you got to go go up against pain wheel especially the charging normals and stuff and then get a combo um, arguably both these characters have an easier time versus pain wheel than others uh, because fly does just so much for the character anyway having a character above you at all times kind of rough to be dealing with but uh yeah all right double arguably easier to let's see here uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. let's see here juice box it's kind of broad but i guess defense i get put in situations like bella double reset or valentine slow vial setups are there things i can do to recognize situations i can do more than dp out you have way more defensive options than you think juice box in your juice box uh, if you're ever put in the corner against a lot of pressure, uh, push block is always your friend. And learning when and how to push block is, is kind of a big thing too. Uh, up forwarding is actually not a bad idea out of the corner. Especially if you got a double jump, use that to your advantage. All right, try to momentum jump as you see fit out of certain pressure. Um, and depending on the character, you also have just reversals. Uh, DP out, certainly a thing. Um, like, if you're an air dash character, it's almost arguably way easier. Um, especially if you're playing against Tekken. You play Philia. Uh, even though you say you don't play Philia, you play Philia. <laughs> uh, let's go over here. Um, doubles over here pressuring me and stuff. Let's change the thing. Good with this. Uh, you can just, you know, this is this is an option. You can, you know, you don't know, doing this, like this here, bad idea. You don't want to be putting yourself into the corner. Walking backwards is the bane of the existence for philia like if you're in the corner getting pressure there are ways to get out maybe out that's a thing up forwarding just up forwarding trying to get out of there yeah that's a thing 
Especially if you're momentum jumping, that's a thing. It'll be a thing. Uh, but certainly because of all of her movement options, you can get the heck out of there and, like at any point you want. Um, just, you know, push block. Yes, everyone loves to up back because up backing in this game is so hecking good, but you really need to not up back all the time. It all depends on what kind of block string you're in, but up backing all the time is actually really bad for you. Um, so if you're going to up back, at least try to make an attempt at getting the heck out. Because um, there are more options than just reversal super or just reversal super <laughs> um so i mean eh? things be things be weird in that sense oh, oh hold, hold on oh well <laughs> i just I saw your name you. <laughs> uh but, but there we go man it's a train in lobby. Oh my god. When, when have these ever been here? <laughs> these shouldn't really be used a lot more than they are. Uh, true. They've also been broken for at least a solid year and a half. half <laughs> oh my god. That's been enough. Uh, let's see. Uh, some characters. Let's do this, this, and double because those are have been common ones so far. Um, mum, 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 mum. Let's see. Is there any characters in particular? Uh, let's see here. Hit me with Parasol, Peacock, and Double. Oh, I need to choose the number first. Okay. I don't know why. I'm let's see here. Uh, the assist don't matter. Yeah, I was like a little bit. <laughs> Double. Where is she? There she is. <laughs> Let's see. Why can you push block with punches? Kicks should be usable too, unless they are no. used for something else. And that's why no, you don't want to. You don't want to confuse yourself that way. It punches is a lot easier, especially when so much more of the things are dedicated to punches than kicks. So <laughs> part of the reason it's also built like that is it's the same input as button dashing. Exactly. Oh. Like you don't want you don't want to separate that. That'd be super confusory. <laughs> uh, my B and B refuses to come on online, but offline it's mostly fine. It's frustrating. Maybe I need a new controller. <laughs> uh, that's from Ben Ben Black Cat. Uh, if if it's online, it all depends on the kind of connection that you're running. Uh, especially over Wi-Fi, you're you're more likely to drop any input versus wired connections. But even then, it's just the nature of online. You, you should expect to at least have a drop or two. Is yay different internet? <laughs> and I'm also curious if um, by offline they mean in training lobby because it's it hard be. to. Um, well, there are a couple different things. If you're playing offline mm -hmm. on. Uh, PlayStation or whatever, you also have oh, yeah. oh, God, page yeah. delay as well, so on and so forth. Yeah, you're eating so four frames on top of whatever else there is. <laughs> yeah, there are a couple different factors. But um usually if a controller's the problem, it'll be a problem everywhere. True. So it might just mm -hmm. be Unfamiliarity. It could with be whatever's it changing. Wouldn't be surprised. Problem with everything being different. <laughs> Let's see here. Can you demonstrate the double burst bait low throw corner vertex you do? Also, is there a way to get them out of the corner for better mix off of air throw reset? I'm assuming that's also regarding double. Yeah. Okay. Let's you go know this double. Character let you do this. <laughs> this character's fun. This character... Uh, most people think she, this character does not have corner mix, but this character has corner mix in spades. Um, so, this is the corner mix. So, that's that's the mix. And then there's low throw from here. Um, you have to react to this. You cannot mash out of this. If you try, you're going to get hurt really bad. Um, <laughs> so, this is exactly the perfect distance to be able to get a crotch light because look at that max distance so you can confirm this into this and, and then get a confirm out of the corner if you want to do that and then set up the mid screen mix 
Um, but like, <laughs> it's 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 kind of wild that it just sets you up for the perfect distance. Uh, so then you can, it's kind of you have to be fast about it. But like, if you're gonna do the thing, right? Uh, I'm just going for this, right? Just here. You have to react to that. You you can't not react to that. Um, so if if you're that's that's kind of how it works, right? Um, so if you if you want to do that that mix right, you can do that because it's also spaced out really well. Um, kind of wild the things you could just go throw. Um, the the fun one to do because you know this is this is how we do this. Everything's fine. Uh, yeah, you can do some shenanigans in, in the corner with that. Um, uh, as to if, if there's a way to get them out of the corner, you can use slide to get them out of the corner. Um, there's there's a way to uh, to be able to pull them out of the corner. Actually, this in a second. And then if, if that juts them out a little bit, um, but that takes like a little little bit of execution. Um, so you could smush yourself into the corner and get a uh, cross up Avery. Um, uh, if, if you could also just do this nonsense. Uh, bu, bu, bu. Uh, if you're fast enough, you can go for throw, but it's better off lights. Um, oh, I think there's food at the door. I'll be right back. And then one other thing, if you want to pull them out of the corner, I don't know if you can do it after the air grab but um either off the throw or the low mix into clyde that pulls them out uh... <laughs> oh, i don't have fuku on my team i could show the bare basic fuku mix and then have him elaborate on it later, but... a little bit on the optimals and IPS we're probably going to get there shortly but um, for optimals you're trying to prevent scaling as fast as possible so you're going to try and use as many single hit moves as you can as well as trying to front load a ton of heavies or hard hitting specials um, and so you get a giant chunk of damage at the start, which is where the majority of your damage for your combo comes from. And then once you approach and what, and then after you've hit max scaling, most often, um, multi hitting moves end up doing slightly more damage. There, there are some cases where, um, like for fortune standing heavy punch versus standing heavy kick is a better ender because i think if you do over 1000 damage um it resets scaling slightly like ever so slightly but it can make a difference but um i'll give you an example of a uh, parasol corner um where they f try and front load a lot of the hard hitting And I didn't even do the six heavy punches, but um, 
you get a Crouching Heavy Punch, Pillar, Sweep, and those are some of her highest damage options. And then the rest of it is kind of dancing around um, getting damage while also not scaling things that much. Yeah. And then, I mean, managing APS is relatively straightforward. Um, the big thing you need to keep in mind is once they're up full, I think they take 55% reduced damage. Um, I forget what the number is exactly, but I can go find the wiki for this. And so... Um, you're trying to be as efficient as possible for the indes you're spending, and in regards to managing it, um, trying to know how much time your mix burns. Because um, that's the trade-off. Immediate mix doesn't drop that much on Dizzy, whereas slightly delayed mix will let you fit in another um, a medium or heavier special, and that might be the difference between having a two touch or not so it's it's a bit give or take and then there's always the option if you've gone through full and dizzy on a um incoming or killed someone and then you're playing incoming in the corner there is definitely an argument for backing off forcing them to block something and then just trying to keep them in the corner wait for their and dizzy to drain and then open them up again and it's kind of whether you want momentum or be able to just cash out once you get the hit. Those are... Because IPS is like your budget in terms of how much damage you can actually do. If you want to think about it that way. I've returned. Sorry. Oof. Hello. You're good. What have I missed? I was just... I skipped ahead and started talking a little bit about the optimals and managing IPS. Yeah. One of the ones I could kind of address with <laughs> reasonable confidence. Fair is fair. Yeah. Take care. Uh... Okay, I did that one. So, Fuqua mix-ups. Oh, God. Yeah, oh. I was like, I'll let you do this, especially if I don't have Fuqua <laughs> on my team. All right, cool. Uh, Fuqua mix-ups and some Fuqua a turn routes. Eh, I actually don't know any Fuqua a turn routes. Really, you do a turn into whatever the heck you want, to be honest, because it's... A train, you're already doing massive damage. <laughs> um, there's optimal routes for sure, but um, yeah. Uh, let's see. For, we're gonna do Fuqua mixes. Okay, you want you want to learn the best mix ever, and it's actually the most basic. That one. <laughs> oh, there's the same side. <laughs> It's so easy. It's just you can just do that one. <laughs> like you could you could do all the fancy things, but like that's just all reliable. Um, aside from that one, um, we got we got our weird standard, weird weird ones. And cross under. Of course, a little harder with long legs. Uh, you no. Know. It's harder with long legs, but it's possible. Let's go. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. No. Are you sure <laughs> about that? <laughs> uh, it's possible. No, I've done it. I've been doing it for years. <laughs> Just, you know, it's harder with long legs. There, there we go. go. <laughs> uh, but the one the one that people do now, that's like the more update version of that. Uh, if long legs would cooperate, you know. <laughs> I think Carcel's supposed oh. to make these things easier. You know. You know. That. Oh, yeah, that's rude. Uh, so, so yeah, that that one's the the more updated version of of that. Uh, you can also do cross hunter, uh, stand hard punch, and all those shenanigans. But uh, 
Uh, this is not something that works across the cast like all the other normal Fuku mixes do. So, um, shadow thing here. Boop. Oh, man. Do it again. It's fine. Uh, what side was it? Oh, man. You don't know. I don't know either. But it's great. Yeah, what side was that one? I have no idea. You know, it's great. Uh, the, the, the common one you see, like Sonic Fox 2, is like this one. And then leads into like your eight way nonsense. Um, uh, the one that I do, that I've discovered recently. <laughs> that one. Which is you could just do it mid screen, whatever you had in the corner. And that's always fun. Works on everybody. Uh, what's what's the other what's the other one? Uh, Early basic one. If you're comfortable with uh, yeah. the finger twisters, you just do M shadow. Uh, after the M shadow, whatever you hit them with, H shadow, you re-stand them, and then it's just a straight up low high, and you can even grab them off of it. It's oh. <laughs> Eee. This is also something people get confused by that either, very easily. Uh, there's also this. That's a thing. Uh, there's also this. Confuse the heck out of someone. Uh, also this. What is this? Uh, what is uh, there's also this. I can hit cross up. If she wants to cooperate. It's really hard to nail. I hit cross up. There you go. <laughs> Fugu's got a lot of a lot of heck and mix. Just uh, play around. Do all the things you want to do. Do a level 5 if you want to. That uh, does no damage. Look, look at that horrible... Well, I mean, the initial hit. The initial hit is dumb. But you could do I mean, much damage. I don't even think that deals as much damage as uh, Dismember. No. It, no. 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 The the initial hit is supposed to, it's supposed to do nothing. It's, it's about the scaling that happens afterwards. Oh, it doesn't reset scaling. Yeah, it goes all the way to 200%. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Yeah, so it is definitely a joke super. Until the time you actually need it. <laughs> so it's Otherwise, you don't really use it for anything else. It used to be a lot better when Fuqua's damage, damage wasn't nerfed. Um, yeah. That was an easy, easy TOT <laughs> for level 5. To be fair, a lot of characters with level 5s get TODs. That's true. That's true. Uh, what is this mode? Yeah, it's online training. Yeah. I, j I just kind of wish it had the thing that you could do offline where it's like you can like hold start and then just play a match and then go back into training and then get out of training, it's, it's, which is kind of wild. <sighs> Sadly, not yet. Unlucky. Okay. Uh, let's see here. How do you actually approach pressure with P? Currently, I really only understand how to zone and run away. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not a peacock player. Uh, <laughs> even though I know like bombos and some neutral approaches and stuff, but um, probably defer to to like Doppler or something like that. I could ask him that question and then uh, follow up with that later. Uh, yeah. But like, uh, of the things that I've seen online, it's really hold M item, walk forward, run forward, up forward, JHP to get the cross up, or up forward, and then you get cross up item, and that's free pressure for you, and it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, sweep into Le into George is dumb, and she doesn't need it. Uh, sweep into, into Elbang is dumb, and she doesn't need it. Um... I can sweep into, into MPEG is dumb and she doesn't need it. Because uh, that gives her easy approaches. Uh, having a, a George out and then doing teleport, or like having a George out doing, uh, uh, what's it called? George into air George and then teleport to get left rights is dumb and she doesn't need it. <laughs> uh, what, yeah, else, what else yeah. is. <laughs> she's, she's got a lot of easy things that she can do by herself and that just doing that and it confirms. Um, uh, so you could you could you could just be starting off with your normal zoning pattern and just go into H teleport. Uh, this is a dumb that is a dumb button that it reaches can confirm into anything and it's yeah. What is her? What is her one where she punches the ground? 
I'm like, how's the, the that? Okay, this. Oh, that, that, that was just Thompson. It's the okay, standing that. medium kick. Yeah, that. Uh, that is your normal, like, starter into con air confirm button. So, if you force them to block anything, or if you're holding George above their head, and then you just stay at this range and force them to block anything, all of a sudden, you're free to do so much random stuff that's incredibly safe. Yes. And it's even worse if you have an assist like lock and load or something to also just oh my God, dude. add on it. <laughs> if you can you get can... an angry above them, like, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of ridiculous what this character can do. You hold an item, you press a lot of buttons, you threaten the overhead the entire time, and then you have to react to the overhead and the low, potentially, um, when Peacock throws it out. And that makes it super rough to deal with. Um, because you, you won't know what they'll be doing, and you just kind of have to react to the left right as they come. And that's why this character technically <laughs> dumb and busted. Um. What? And it was only high when it's charge three. Ah. Ah. Uh, that's yeah, why they changed it. She, they changed I mean, it. She still has just ID. Like, yeah, she still's got shenanigans. <laughs> like, you still have e to hold even, even if. <laughs> it's, it's still, yeah, it's still dumb. It's still very much dumb. Uh, let's see here. How can I improve on defense and how to calm down to prevent mashing normals? That is a mentality kind of thing. That's from Invisible Face 21. That's just a mentality kind of thing. Uh, whenever you find yourself panicking or while you're playing, which is very much the case almost all the time, depending on the situation. Um, uh, I guess the easiest way to, to kind of put it into real terms is when I see juice play. Uh, and they do it actively when they're playing Philia. They literally go backwards after they're like, I messed this up. Let me let, let me return neutral. And then I'm just like, what are you doing? Yeah, uh, and I mean, um, another, uh, defense kind of just does getting used to seeing and what you expect from each character. And one big thing to help with... Um, defense and not just completely panicking um is being comfortable and then getting really used to um absolute guard is a lifesaver in this game true and so you know i have a window where i am safe and i need to watch what they're setting up to do right after i'm no longer blocking both directions yeah for sure, the big thing for defense is push blocking, um, and that comes with the caveat of knowing when when to push block, what to push block. But you kind of learn that as you play the game. Um, but certainly, if you ever feel like you're in trouble, push block. It'll eventually be a habit where you push block too much, and then you have to kind of get that out of your muscle memory. But like getting into the habit of trying to get pressure away from you is kind of a big thing. You're doing the dangle defense. Let's see, my oh, you, I think I'm assuming you covered the mindset theory with optimals and I, yeah, I, I mean, I talked about um, keeping scaling down using like front loading a lot of your heavy damage stuff. So, I was talking about parasol. This you're using like three of your highest damaging things as a starter in the corner, uh, and then behind multi-hits at the end. Um, I don't know if there's too much more to go over. You might have better tips about or managing IPS. I kind of just put it as it's the budget you have. Yeah, um, I would say so, yeah. I would call it that. The trade-off between if you're trying to think about Undizzy in terms of making set play, slow resets versus fast resets and knowing how much Undizzy it'll drain. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, I guess if you want to think about it in numbers, uh, which I normally do not, because I play I play this game entirely by uh, game feel. Um, but if you want to think about numbers, uh, your bar is 240, uh, and each of your normals fills up an amount of that undizzy, uh, especially specials. Um, so what is it? Lights 20, mediums what 30? Lights are 15, mediums are 20, Lights heavies 15, are 15. Yeah, yeah. And specials are 20 as well. Yeah. So. If you want to think about it in numbers, you could optimize a route 
depending on what you're using for a combo. Uh, so you can certainly just write down numbers and be like, this will be, this will work for a combo because this is how much Undizzy I have and these are all the amounts and stuff. Like, I don't do all that. I'm just like, I know these normals do this much. I know these normals kind of do this much. I'm looking at my, I'm just staring at my Undizzy bar as I'm doing the combo. Um, so I'm just like, okay, so from right here, I know for a fact that if I do this string, uh, I'll reach 230 Undizzy, so I know what my Ender's like. Um, so usually, was it stage one, stage two, and the start of stage three, you don't start filling up? Hey, hey. Oh, I messed it up. Uh, I was just trying to show... Yeah. Uh, how do we, how do people do that off of, um, the just... Because they do the air grab after... One oh, of the air grab you do, uh, uh... Uh, jump light punch, jump light kick. If you want to do that. Is it a re-jump? Because I, I just know the one where they do it while falling and it drains like 30 in Tizzy. Yeah, you can, you can do it while falling. Well, I don't know. Yeah, you, I have to, you have to do it super fast. But, um, yeah. They're... The slower the reset is, the easier it will be to react to it, but you get an extra heavy or an extra special um, if you time it out certain ways. And again, you do also kind of just get a feel for it. You look at the bar and you go, oh, I think I have this much left. So it's, and then I know nothing about option selects and I need to start actually paying attention to them. So oh, yeah, OS and any... stuff, uh, if, if you want to attempt any OSs and stuff, a good one in the corner is like whenever you're put into an air string and then you have to land for a low throw. Uh, hitting low and hitting throw, you actually you should be able to get nothing, uh, depending on when they block or not. Um, so like block and hold, hold and back. Uh, if you're put into that kind of situation, that's kind of an OS. Um, Big Ben has a bunch of them. It's really parry in anything, parry in a DP, parry in a train, parry in a nonsense. Uh, I think the OS forever. Parrot soul, are you a personal player? Yeah. Um. There is one where Parasol like times her pillar in just a way where um, if she's put into pre-block, she won't jump, so she'll get pillar. But if she doesn't, she'll just uh, up or up back, uh, mm -hmm. jumping heavy kick. So it's kind of a. That's she's a got that. Movie. I don't have it down. I remember hearing about that some time ago. Back PB grab, true. Back push block grab. Uh, so one would do too. Uh, also, out of that, if if your opponent tries to grab doing back and push block, actually you can you can save yourself because you'll be put into a block stun. You can't get grabbed in that sense. Uh, that's a weird thing. Yeah, I think I covers that. Let's see. What what does Juice have to say? Again? Let's see. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the game right now. Anything from character balance viability to team theory or something <laughs> i don't know i'm a nerd <laughs> Gosh. Uh, uh you already heard us rant a little bit about peacock early <laughs> <laughs> uh current balance in the game I, I don't know my opinion really hasn't changed over the course of many years uh the game's just busted uh and that's honestly what i like about it everyone's busted in their own way uh and of course, you know, that makes some people more irate than others. Uh, and understandably so, because, you know, some things are just garbage about this game. Some things are great about this game. <laughs> uh, Fuku will be able to have an eight-way mix. Uh, it's an improvement of, over what she had before, which was 50-50 every single time. Um, but then it also just led her to do a lot more garbage things afterwards like who, who wants to block a shadow after it being held you just want to play the game man um it's like that's fine uh current current post annie state uh i'm honestly really disappointed with the way that they handled annie um she she could have been a much more interesting character than what she is right now personally I thought the drain mechanic was really cool if it was toned back. I thought the install patch one was really cool, but then it got severely undertuned. And it being a quote-unquote neutral tool, 
does not make sense to me because I see no one doing insult combos. So, eh? Uh, I'd still consider JHP the character. That's for sure. Um, so she kind of she kind of just feels like a generic Kadesh. A uh, Cloud does it? Well, I besides Cloud, I haven't seen anybody else do it. So like, like most people just like go to insult and intro and just toss some stars. So it's like. Yeah. <clears throat> Some of the cool things that this character could do, they just kind of took away. So, I, I don't know. She doesn't play as good. She, and I don't want it to be the case that we've got little bands in the game where it's just it's a small it's a small girl doing massive damage. It's like, "Oh my god. Okay." I'm already seeing it with Melty Blood. There's some small girls doing massive damage. <laughs> yeah. Little bands. Which kind is not did, awful. Just, but. Uh, Steel Annie's or Pain Wheel's niche. That's the part that makes me the most upset about a uh, yeah. lot of creation DHC right now. She'd be way overtuned. Uh, but that's just, but that's the thing. Like we we didn't even have enough time to be able to like figure things out. It's like we got it for like some some things we got for like two days and then they were just gone. And I was like, well, I just get enough time to experiment. OK, I guess. Um, like it didn't it didn't feel like part of it was just doesn't feel like there was enough time. Uh, enough people experimenting with stuff. Um, and a lot of opinions being considered then meh. It's, it's meh. She's to me. She's a generic air dash character, but she's still really strong. Yeah. Um. Uh. As for now, current alpha umbrella, I'm kind of sad they touch damage numbers. I kind of want to see all the specials before they even touch anything worth anything with numbers. Um. The current uh, gauge, I'm slightly confused by. I almost feel like the old gauge makes more sense for hunger, um, but th that'll just probably be me just getting used to it. It's also not final, so. But, yeah, that's a preference um, thing. I agree with yeah. you. I'd rather see a resource that I can spend rather than go, oh, this is full. I can't use it. <laughs> yeah, and makes me confused. We start off with the better frame data to begin with for two bars when before it was four bars, um, and then. It's just weird to be hungry, then satiated, then overstuffed, then hungry again, which is just kind of weird. Um, I don't know. I guess some people will make it <laughs> work, I guess. Uh, uh, she's doing yes, she was doing 10k with um, nine, nine bar hunger. Um, and that's when you were ravenous and you had, you had all four for the ravenous uh hunger bars and you could do that's, 10k assuming you get a hit with like an eight frame normal and then cash out on everything exactly um so that's that is there's very much conditions for that but you certainly can't do that now uh and they took a, i i think you could still do it in the corner but they took away the saw grinder into the tongue tongue twister whatever that thing is called uh the command grab and a command grab they took that away which is kind of depressing that's a cool confirm you don't start taking away the cool things about the character please um uh instead heart kick being cross up but not an overhead i i don't know why um if you just think about it you deserve to get hit overhead because you i mean you get hit you, you, you're getting hit by the throat you know she's grabbing you by the throat like <laughs> It's literally a worse um, <laughs> Gato off of uh, Cat Scratch. Like, yeah, it's you, not you yeah. react to that and just jab it as it's happening. Like, it's it's, it's just it's just worse. After. You can see her run up. It's it's not great. <laughs> it's not overhead anymore. No. Um, so she, she can't special cancel out of it, can she? No, she's stuck in recovery frames the entire time. But she's invulnerable the entire time. Yeah, she's well, recovering. Um, yeah more talking about even just before so like she can't like run at you and then go gotcha no no you can't you need to be like just tossing out some normals and then you do that 
Uh, but that even that in itself is just hella risky. Which is... Uh, don't start taking away the cool things, man. We're not even there yet. Yeah. And that's how I feel right now, at least. Uh, otherwise, the game's great. <laughs> Super fun. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the game's in a state where most teams can work. I mean, everything can work until you get to a super high level, and even then, there are only very few things like solo robo or solo band that are absolutely yeah. out of the question. Um, yeah. Some things are definitely, like, team optimal, like uh, Kenji used to preach, but... You, you can make stuff work. Like, I would argue Triv's team is has quote unquote bottom ish tier characters depending on how you want to look at it but that team murders they're really good with it that's just it's what you it's do with two, the tools your team gives you yeah it's it, i mean trip's team is two characters that literally well three characters that don't play neutral because two of them zone <laughs> and the one has sing sbo so it's like you're in pressure forever almost all the time um, yes, Trim has P, and they also have Robo and Squiggly, so it's yeah. like... <laughs> throw it wherever you want. It's... You, you can do a lot, even if you're not playing a top tier. Well, a quote-unquote top tier. Yeah. Uh, the, like, seven that are in this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't get to say your team is bad when it has P. I mean, you're right. <laughs> I mean, you can team make the good. argument you don't get to say your team's bad when it has H beam assist. Like, every True. character has something that salvages them. <laughs> yeah. But there's a reason to play every character in the game, which is very healthy, in my opinion. At the very least, someone's got something. So you could make anything work. Even though any kind of. Actually, really good. Pain wheel. <laughs> True. Angie. Super Angie. So. Oh. Any not as angry as Painwell. Let's see. Uh, speaking of Painwell, how do Resix work with Painwell? I feel like I understand general movement and mix-ups with her fairly well, but struggle with taking advantage of them for resets. It's to Calic. Um, oh. How do resets work? I mean, I guess I'll have to play Painwell. Heck. Okay. Yeah. Boof. That's this one. No, no, no. This one. Yeah, there we go. go. <laughs> and um outside of this just good people to watch for this are uh play the shenanigans that is this team that i love so much um rat baby very um what's their name my brain is just dying uh, right now i don't know if they're still playing but chuck chuck and plasma Oh yeah, Osaka. True. PME. Oh, yeah, PME. Um, who's the Fukua Painwheel player? Please one other. Uh, God, I can't. Um... Ryan. What's what's their name? Oh, Sa 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 There we go. <laughs> My brain just like <laughs> completely died. <laughs> All right. So you also for Painwheel resets, you could do just this. Um. And there's like the standard like this, uh, what was it, the deck is like this, but, uh, and then you get left, right, so like that, um, but it's, it's all just about confirming, pretty much, um, believing your hit confirms for pain wheel, even though her moves are so slow, um, there's the fly, um, just jumping light kick, or whatever it is, that's basically an IED, after uh. a restand. Yeah. Yeah, just do that. Oop. If you can land it on the ground. Doing that. Um, there's... Is it using jumping heavy kick that shifts you forward to get a random cross-up um, sort of stuff? Oh yeah, you could, you could do this. Uh, if you're impatient with it, you just go the other side. Yeah, it slips you over. Yeah, this or... This can also do that was it. this. Do that too. That works. Um, well, it depends. But 
Uh, there's a way where you can get the, the grab here. That kind of thing. Uh, if you're cool, this works. It's hard though. Um, that was good. Uh, see, what was it? <laughs> see if top player was messing around with your character in friendlies option. <laughs> Certainly that too. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah. Oh, uh, one thing I will suggest mm -hmm. uh, adding to your repertoire as a pinwheel player: you have armored normals, gold burst people, literally just drain their own dizzy. It, it's so dumb. And then you, it's your turn afterwards. Yeah. Uh, just, adding just that is, it's so annoying to deal with. Um, and they just have to hold it. It's a free 50-50 free, and that's really annoying. And then especially if you have been putting them through the blender, um, they'll be like, okay, I'll mash the next one, because that's the one thing Painwheel kind of suffers to deal with, is just... A lot of her stuff isn't safe. It looks cursed as hell, but as soon as they start pressing buttons, you kind of just lose. If you throw that yeah. in there, all of a sudden they're like, "I don't want to do anything." <laughs> Especially this button. This this button, is so good. Oh my god, they push block you. You could still you could still fly. You could still fly and, and do stuff. Like like it's the insane amount of pressure you just get off this. Like. The fact yeah, you can get like strange confirms off of the air, so if you go this into this, it's this character's got weird things, but kind of cool at the same time. It's just practice. Oh man. Uh, let's see here. Like what, <laughs> what to do if your mix gets We'll see if your mix gets blocked and you just sit there forever and nothing's fine and you're just like, man, my life is over. <laughs> uh, if your mix gets blocked, just try another mix. Or and try the same mix again, actually. Um, if you, you have... Um, if you used your assist for your mix, it's a little bit question mark. But um, if they're back up, just call them again. Keep the pressure on because oftentimes... Unless your mix is really high committal, it'll be neutral slash your turn afterwards regardless. So like, yeah. Oh, I messed it up. Well, that, that's a so like this here. Bup, uh, boosh. God. I still have to block it. Hey. I just can't do this right now. Believe, I believe in you. I believe in you. Hey. I just that's a high low. Like that. That's and a high it, low yeah. side switch. That's an eight way right there. So I, I have to hold it. It's still kind of my turn. Unless I block it right the first time, and then it's like, Oh, you're Ouch. small, I can't do that to you. Yeah, yeah it's kind of um, kind of small. Stuff like that, but if you get push blocked out for that, I have M Shadow, so I get push blocked out. I call her again, and then I just run up and do all the fortune stuff. Whatever your character can do to pressure well. Um, just try and keep the pressure up. And then if you get push blocked out again, oftentimes it'll be back to neutral. But... Um, yeah. Trying to keep your turn as much as possible after your mix gets blocked is really important because oftentimes the way this game works, if you do it right, you can try and open them up two or three times before they actually fully get you out. Yeah, that that takes a little bit of effort, uh, especially at higher level play, because you can you can keep pressure up for long periods of time until they just force their way out. Um, and then you also need to learn how to do it safely because if you're doing it recklessly, you will get DP'd. So it's it's a lot of. Um, feeling out how your character interacts with others um yeah. but you want to try and keep your turn for as much as possible so if you get push block out once try and get back in just keep on going and eventually you either get in or neutral gets reset and then you know how to play neutral so Ooh. neutral is probably the hardest thing about this game uh <laughs> neutral is the most important just, thing about this game. yeah the most important that's the hardest because learning how to game feel takes a lot of time so it's like especially when everyone's running at you at mock 10 oh it's my just... god dude oh my god so many people run at mock 10 it's 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 a little frustrating when people just run at mock 10 it's like please it's neutral you need to be patient you're you're dying please 
to giggle to you. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually really enjoy playing Fortune reactively. I mean, it kind of comes from playing Parasol, but it's really funny to just and then random checks. Checks are kind of like the biggest thing, and then, and then figuring out how to hit confirm from there. It's just like, oof. yeah. <laughs> as long as they're not dead. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable, <laughs> theoretically. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Let's see, uh, that was from Rocco. Sheep's got a thing. Macro neutral decisions. I'm not sure what they mean. Just kind of like think just so. your big decision making points. Yeah, I think they mean neutral? kind of how the game cycles rather than I know this will work here because of how frame data works so like micro is just execution macro is overarching um and this ends up becoming really character and matchup specific yeah um i, I guess for sheep because they're playing double eliza um i guess kind of kind of the big thing is just just knowing what buttons to toss out just, just for, i guess for if you're playing double at the full screen you're you're tossing out fireballs um because doubles a zone um at that point, um, so you toss a fireball, call an assist to back you up. You can just keep doing that forever until your opponent makes a mistake and then you capitalize. Um, otherwise, in the mid screen, you're just using M fireball, um, the crouch right punch, uh, and using like sweep to confirm if you get the hit. Uh, and then I guess assist dependent at that point. Uh, if it's Eliza, uh, there's not much you can do at full screen. Uh, you just kind of have to play the ground game. Uh, you got boat. Well, can kind of you know, uh, kind of clear the distance a little bit into uh, Horus or like Throne, uh, depending on where you get the mix. Um, also, that too. One, what, what robot said? One of Eliza's most ignorant options are the random um, jump medium kick into skeleton button True. in the air. Um, most ignorant. They keep you mostly safe, and uh, then you just do skeleton footsies afterwards. Um, sort of deal. So there's that. I don't know if you care to learn the um, like Eliza Grid theory. That's a, <laughs> I know Dry really likes playing her that way. Um, she, she has a couple different options to do it. She is prone to getting blown up just because of how cursed some of her buttons are. But um, figuring out which ones to press and where. That keep her the most safe. Like, oh man. I think you said you don't like standing heavy kick. So checking people with crouching medium punch. Standing heavy punch is similar to standing heavy kick. It's a 20 frame heavy. <laughs> but it covers True. a ton of space. Um and longer range poke for sure. You can just get easy confirms. Jump medium kick, good button. As long as they're not air tearing you. Yeah. Uh, jump light punch is underrated and an amazing button if you want to get in on someone. A disjoint. Because it's disjoint. A tiny little disjoint, but it does so much. Yeah, um, and so it's... Um, and if you want to think about it this way, in terms of macro, um, what are my best tools what are their best tools to deal with what i have and how do i want to play this matchup so do you want to try and slowly um cut off space for them into the corner so you'd just be throwing out big spacing buttons trying to avoid getting caught while doing so um trying to intercept their movement to avoid getting locked into the corner uh you could try and go i want to force them to block an assist and then just try and open them up once or twice before they get me back out and then reset and do it again. And so it's thinking about um, what you want your goal to be and then how the best, like what tools you have to get you there as efficiently as possible. Yeah. I'd say that and both covers them. Um, and of course, another one. Let's see. This is this isn't specifically a lab question, but I find that I have a lot of trouble implementing the things that I lab into my play, even when I head into sessions with it in mind or remind myself before games because I get too caught up trying to keep up with what's going on. Do you have any advice for easing things you lab into your play? 
So, short answer. Bots are amazing. People clap on bot games, but they are a good middle ground where you have to think about getting a hit confirm, but there's still no pressure. And so that's that's one thing to do that I will continuously preach. <laughs> Truth. Long answer. Uh, for the most part, if you've got something that you've been practicing in the lab, um, you want to take it into your, into actual matches to make it a little more practical with people. Um, try to make smaller goals. Um, so like, I, I, so first off, try to get the hit first. Second off, try to get the thing that you're trying to land. So get the hit. Be like, okay, I got the hit. Here's the thing I've been practicing. Ba, ba, ba. Did I get it? Nope. Okay, I could try again later. Um, and implementing small goals as you, as you're playing uh, can actually help improve your neutral and improve your common consistency as well. So, if you, if you want to be able to do it, just keep playing. Keep trying to come up with something to be able to get to that small goal, and then make the next small goal to make that a lot better. Um, so, a use bots. It's possible. We just take it into a match and just try and, and keep trying until you, you land it and then make it more small goals. Yeah. And it is always the, um, if you're trying to, whether it's lab or whether it's decision making, um, what, what I've been doing with my VOD reviews is I just have a list that I will try and look at before I play. And so these are small things that I try and just keep in mind. And so you need to actively be thinking about them when the situation comes and then as soon as it starts becoming well that's how you start to make it into habit because you you have to think about it until it becomes natural to you if that makes sense so as soon as you see a scenario you you try and get your brain to click and recognize oh i should be trying to heavy counter hit here for instance or oh i need i want to go into this starter for setting up this mix so on and so forth it's just all of a sudden trying to build those cues so you don't have to think about it as much yeah a lot can really be just set in your muscle memory until you actually need to, to think about something so that's why we tell you to do combos like 10 times in a row so when it's there you just it's there and you have it you're just kind of letting your fingers do the work it's pretty good uh here's something you can answer uh parasol tech bnb's basics <laughs> <laughs> After that, Bell of Resets. After that, Val Resets. And that's from Senator Skull. It's not really a, a question, but we can do demonstrations, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I can okay. talk about Skull. What, what kind of parasol basics would you be able to tell someone about? Um, <laughs> basics. Jab is a really stupid button. <laughs> and from what I see beginner parasols do, they don't use it enough. There, there are a couple things, but so Jab checks a whole lot of shenanigans like IADs, most characters that get stuffed because it's right at their height. Overall, you just have a lot of long, lanky buttons to kind of keep people in their place. Um, most of her stuff is slow and you lose your turn on block but you try and get around that by abusing how big some of these buttons are <laughs> um, any basics? I mean so tears are lovely in ignorance but uh, you have to know when you can and can't use them because shot is like one of your go-to habits to get into, but you can start getting blown up for using it. Um, but one way to quickly turn neutral in your favor for even just a little bit, if you're able to get tears out, you're just choking off so much more space. So learning how to abuse your spacing and these stupid win neutral um, specials is really important in regarding her neutral play. She's got 
pretty good mobility. Get used to it because that's all she's got. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, B&Bs, I mean, I can demonstrate some things, but I can also just say go to the wiki because um, wiki. her wiki page, while not like super optimal, offers a lot of really, really good things to just learn the character on. Um, tech? There's nothing super fancy with this character. I was practicing this a little earlier. You have... Um, that sort of air movement um, where you use these, if I can do it properly, uh, to blow up. Got very basic mix. This is just a beautiful every option um, corner mix. Okay, I can I not pull you out of the corner with that? I should be able to. Yeah, you should be able to. Whoa. Um, yeah. Okay. There we go. Uh, you have all that sort of stuff. You have sort of gimmicky things with that. Um, honestly, one of the really underrated things for Parasol, you will get mashed on if you do this a lot, but you have a jab that uncombos into either a high or a low. And so you can keep people always on their toes. Um, just drop mid string dome them um or catch their toes pistol is also a good option but it's a little bit more obvious because it's just usually off of like something like that and so it's people are looking there a little bit more for resets um i mean <laughs> honestly for a lot of beginning stuff like just learning bnbs um the wiki is a really great place. Most of her... Mm. Does she have any, like, bad buttons to just avoid? Yeah, her sweep's bad not buttons? greatest, eh? but... Um, most of them really are have that many bad good buttons. at doing their job. Yeah, um, this, this, this character is meant for spacing, so like, if, you, if you aren't spacing with this character, I feel like you're just doing yourself a disservice. People will preach this. Um, be careful about pressing this when they're anywhere in the air because it does not hit anywhere near as high as you expect it to. And um, biggest thing, avoid letting people above your head. Because you do have this and this that do a good job of catching people. Your invulnerable reversal will not. And these are high commitment heavies. So... So it's, especially if you're gonna if you're gonna commit to the heavies, you need to go right into tier or something else. Or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. But remember which moves have command command normals. That is true. This is a dumb button. I don't use enough, honestly. Both of her jumping lights. <laughs> yeah, both both of her parts. jumping lights are pretty decent. Um, and keep in mind, uh, she is a character that can get punished for being predictable. A lot of her what seem like good tools, so like if you up forward, uh, jumping light punch, jumping heavy punch, it's safe until, I mean, it's a it's a knowledge check. You you will get blown up for falling into habits. Same thing with tears. If your pressure gets too predictable, all of a sudden um, they just call you out with a reversal. So it's a lot of spacing and honestly a fair bit of mind games for how you want to keep your pressure up because she also is really easy to push block out so staying in is really hard true yeah l shot is plus two on block but you have to force them to block it and sometimes that's really hard to do that is true. and you can be called out if you commit to it too often but that is parasol in a nutshell penny also i, I mean i've kind of just condensed what penny's guide was True. <laughs> she has a really good but somewhat lengthy um, guide on the character if you want to look at that on YouTube. If you just look up Penembra um, Parasol Guide, or honestly, if you just look up Parasol Guide, you'll find it. That is one of the best resources for this character. Good. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, so Bella resets and Val resets. Uh, I could handle those too. So let's. But oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Parasol has a lot of material and resources. Character in this game, actually. Funny, because she's just a worse double. <laughs> My God, no. Uh, Incidentally, this team is actually legitly awesome together. I um, honestly got tilted playing versus above. <laughs> you would play every time I got caught with Dynamo and they get a conversion. In the way of Bella resets, uh, honestly, anything in the run stop that is your reset. Uh, you just but but do that a lot. Kind of hard to punishable. Um, this you get your same side. You could also get your uh, your shenanigans there. You do. Uh, sometimes you get that. Cross yeah, up like that. that. Uh, <laughs> so you've got resets in spades just by run stop by itself. Um, if you're gonna do any air chain resets, this into low thing. Um, but but. Yeah. yeah, and um, uh, you have the standing light kick stuff off of crouch medium kick. Yeah, that's what. But, 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 you can go to the other side. Um, and that's a lot of what she has. Who's there? Uh, you do things like um, her, her jumping medium punch can, can cross up. So it's kind of like. That can happen. Like kick can cross up. And then you're in there, right? You can do that. And then confirm off of there. Um, yeah. Uh, and then it's it's a lot. Dude, uh, all those options also have Contro behind them. Like it's just <laughs> sure. Whatever it wants to come out, it's fine. Uh, buh, buh. This. Get Contro behind it. Uh, True. Dragonos videos. Pretty good. I watch Dragonos uh, videos. If you want good Bellamix, honestly, watch Malvod's. He's one of the true. dumbest Bellas in regards to mix I've ever played against. Um, nah, he's got good mix. Swift Fox also has a pretty good Bella. Fox, I mean, there are a lot uh, of good Bellas. Too character yeah if you ever see Cloud. socks play or uh moctopus also plays bella most of the pros that play are, have some good mix mao has got yeah. some annoying ones um in, in general you'll see a lot of the same things but you see a lot of the same things because it's just so stupid good as for Valentine nonsense, uh, hers is a little more watered down, I would say. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff, but this is the easy one to do. But go to this, do that again. And also keep yeah. in mind, for all of these characters, you can find um, resources on the wiki for mix as well. Yeah, uh, here's the one that I've been doing recently. Hate that one so much. That one's really good. <laughs> um, same sort of thing. If you go into the jumpy punch, that you do the ninja flippy. Uh, if you do it right, you can get cross up. Um, and it works well, better if they're crouching as well. Yeah, it, it a whole lot of. You can also re jump for this one into grab. Go into other mix. Uh, boosh, do it again. Um, so it's good. Uh, things that I've seen other people do. Do do this, and then do that. Nonsense. Um, or that to grab. Yeah. See that a lot. But, but, but grab. Uh, 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 all that stuff. Um, hers are a little, at least a little more straightforward. This into that. It's usually something, something of the sort. Uh. Yeah, she's got she's got things. She's got things. Uh, Outlaw Spike would be a person to watch. Cloud would be a person to watch. Valentine like that. 
Honestly, Gray's got some pretty good mix. If there are any VODs of him on Hoon with Bacon, I don't know. Good question. I don't think so, actually. Hey, speaking of Gray, who's right here. Yeah, well, that's why I brought him up. <laughs> yeah, there's some stuff on pair. Yeah, true. I'm Vals well aware, Gray. gray. <laughs> God. Why does Parasol just have to be cursed? Everything works on her in the most dumb ways. That shenanigans. Uh, go for it. It's always good. Uh, in the corner, she's got weird shenanigans. Uh, mm, 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 mm. On lights, this will cross up. Uh, it's kind of hard to do. There you go. Do that stuff. Keep on going. Uh, 2 HP, jump back ID. Which be jump back. jump back. You could just do that, yeah. I can see that. It's pretty good, yeah. Pretty good. Got some stuff. Her <laughs> boxes are messed up. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Uh, how to? Oh, there's a couple of questions. Okay. How to play neutral as Bella and Valentine. Uh, <laughs> Valentine, Bella kind of, kind of condenses into this, uh, getting this hit. Kind of condenses into this stuff. Going into that. Uh, One thing I do this a lot. I want to say about Valentine. Yeah. Do not raw bypass when they can block it, please. What do you mean? Just do oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> really, it's, it's, a lot and it's, it's just heavy commitment. If you don't have meter, it's it's kind of rough. Um, honestly, if you want really good Valentine neutral to watch, Cloud's pretty good. Um, what's his face? Tyrone is really annoying to play against. They just um, but 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 oh, just. But it's a whole lot of. It's very similar to soul where you make it annoying enough to approach you that they commit to a subpar option and then you just dome them for it um if you get above them anyhow landing on them with jumping light punch is really stupid it's just disjointed Was good. Uh, let's see. Uh, as for Bella and playing neutral with this Tekken clown, um, the only button you'll ever need to worry about this. This is the stupidest button in the video game. Honestly, uh, if it wasn't for symbols, this would probably be the best button in the air normal in the game. It's massive. And then. Yeah, here. Outside of that, your crouching light kick also wins almost every single poke trade because she slinks back before and then it's disjointed. And it goes yeah, pretty this, this far. Better. Yeah. Oh, standing, no, standing light kick is a great anti-air. That is a phenomenal anti-air. Really good as an anti-air. If, if, if there's like a Philly dashing on you, you can get easy confirms. That it's has beat Parasol jumping heavy punch before. And it literally surprised. plays against one of the stupidest <laughs> buttons in the game. It just also, works. Crouch Light is really good because you can get decent combos from really far away. And I don't know why that, she has this, but it does. Um, underrated, actually, as an, as an anti-air, this button. There's, her there's a decent hit on this. Her sweep is, uh, I mean, relatively high commitment, but if you force them to block it, it's it's neutral. It's 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 your turn after. Especially if you use it to call assists. It's yeah. just... It's a big button that does a ton of damage, and it just checks people from half the screen away. Like, that's nuts. Contra's a free mix, true, but that is also high commitment, so uh, doing doing the fake can work to your advantage. And, um... If you have the reactions for it, learn how much random garbage in this game is a projectile. It will make neutral very easy. True. Like there can solve a lot of problems uh, with certain there's, matchups. There's shot, or, like there's the obvious fireballs, but then there's random stuff like 
fortune head or um, Eliza DP and just knowing what you can just completely disrespect helps Mela be as much of a clown as she is. Uh, underrated too. This this is a good button to be contesting near to air because uh, yeah, you can get heavy counter and all the stuff. Um, does the same okay. Crouch light really does, where she just yeah. slinks away before the actual hitbox comes out. It's really good. Up forward light that kicks also pretty decent. Um, her her air normals for the most part are actually pretty good. Yeah, besides her light punch. Yeah, so you can. Which is uh, still a good falling button if people are trying to reset you in the air. Pretty good. This is not overhead anymore, but you can still you can still contest certain options and stuff. Yeah, it's a lot of neutral is a lot of abusing her stupid, honestly her stupid range for her buttons. Um, yeah. Once you get into that range, they have to respect a lot of things you do because you have low throw mix with your command grabs from like this range which is oh, insane yeah. especially cuz her her dash is actually not fucking <laughs> god oh uh, her range is massive yeah and she's got getting used to abusing micro dash button with her gives her so much more range than she actually has really good especially off of mgr i'm gonna do mgr right yeah you know learn the conversion off of that but it's a lot of kind of avoiding annoying stuff full screen until you can get close enough to force them to respect you because sure. she's got some spacing buttons on par with like parasol <laughs> So how do you of... convert off dynamo with bypass? Sorry. Oh, oh I, I didn't think I was blocking. You never lapped it? Oh, okay. It's, I mean, it's, that's actually really easy. Yep. Punch, bump, death. Super easy. Just forward heavy punch, call the assist, uh, and you get your confirmer from there. You can even go back into the mix off of that. You can just stand light into this and then go back in the mix. It's very similar to how um, you would see bands <laughs> do it with uh, H, uh, whatever it's called, Pinion. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you catch them before they fall, and as you're doing that, you're calling the assist before, and so it just keeps them en up enough for them to get shot back across the screen. One of the easier conversions in this game. Uh, let's see here. How to properly counter heavy brass assist. Yeah, well, that's also really easy. I need to work on this so I get practice. Okay. Heavy brass assist. Alright, so. Oh, need to change characters so we can. I'll pick whatever. I'll just pick whatever. I just did everything wrong. Everything's fine. Let's change characters again. Frame one. We got it. We got it. Frame one, it's over. Hey. Change characters. That's okay. Well, I guess the game doesn't want me to do it. Okay. Okay. I don't know what characters you play, um, but if you want to counter counter heavy brass assist, uh, let's try the first thing. Uh, I'm gonna call brass. You're gonna up forward block. You can block and land cancel punish it. Brain, please. Here, 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 here. One, two, three. There you go. Okay. So that's that's one way to do it. Uh, the second way, if you got a an okay sweep, you can actually sweep the assist. So we're just one, two, three. 
we go. You can get rid of brass that, that way easily and actually confirm into something else and continue pressuring the point. Um, otherwise, you just kind of have to just lock it. So, I mean, uh, if, if you're not intending on blocking and you want to be able to get in on your opponent, those two things can kind of get rid of the big band. Uh, otherwise, you can just, like, jump over it. Very easy. Um, so you, you can choose to not interact with it. So. And but because if it jumps, it moves so far mm -hmm. across the screen, um, if they're not immediately behind it, slap it with whatever character you have. Just a single jab, put it on lockout. It's true. If, if they can't. Out these. Super the, important. The, there's a lot of opportunities, um, oftentimes with brass players, for you to get that in and then proceed to playing and you get to play for a little bit longer without them abusing the big armored assist. That is how you deal with heavy brass assist though. It's, it's, uh, it's actually and this this kind of this easily applies to everything else that's got an armor move pretty much. And one thing I will say um if you I mean most assists can do this, but especially if you have an assist like brass or lock and load, counter call it do a ton True. of damage to their brass. Um, and if you don't know what that means, when they call their assist, you wait for um, a half second, so it'll start going through, and then you call your assist to not get hit by it, and then hit their assist afterwards. And it's just a free way to get a massive chunk of damage with putting yourself at very little risk because your assist is the one hitting it instead of you. Ooh. Very applicable to any other armor assist in this game, except for Eliza. Eliza, you have to either sweep the bones, grab the bones, or uh, the other thing, snap the bones. Uh, sweep these days is much more preferable because you get a full combo off of it. I mean, on point for that, but like otherwise, you could just sweep the assist. Can't grab assist unless the assist is a grab assist, and then you check the assist, and that's kind of weird. But... Let's see what else is here. If I run silly a slide, what should I change my Valentine assist to to make up for a lack of neutral assist? Um, <laughs> I pass. <laughs> Both serve the same purpose, though. It's you don't really have much other option for Valentine assist if we got double silly a slide. Um, if you're um, doing Val Bomber, I would probably just stick to that. It just works. It, it sounds because they're asking about Bella Valentine. If the team is Val, uh, Bella, um, double, it's just Cloud's team, or Cloud's old team at least. Yeah, Cloud's old team. It's, it's a great assist. Because... Um, the, 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 one of the major issues with Valentine is her assists and kind of how niche their uses are. So, um, if you have someone else who can bend to meet another requirement, it's much easier to ask them to do it than to see if Valentine can cover for anything because yeah. <laughs> her assists are uh, a little yikes. Why would you run Clyde with Val? Eh, I mean. There's potential to get a long range confirm, but I mean, I could you know, see just... you getting some really stupid mix off of the angles Clyde sends people. Yeah, it's possible. Um, Bomber's just a standard thing, though. It'll just yeah. always work no matter what. That's from Paul. 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 Let's see. We've got two more questions, Let's... or three, I guess technically. Uh, how do you deal with? pressure when playing solo squiggly or is there anything i can do about pressure when playing solo squiggly orange violence says you don't need christmas you're right <laughs> yeah i mean so, she struggles with it a lot so major thing is learning how to push block block properly that is massive universally in this game but especially for characters who don't have other options 
Yeah, she's got such low mobility. It's kind of rough. Like, uh, you can still up forward out of things, but, like, for you to... You're getting out of situations, really push block. And then if you, if you have a chance, SBO or push block into Daisy. Though, don't use it as a reversal. Not if a reversal. You, yeah. If you have a charge, <laughs> a punch charge, her DP is pretty good. Um, but that is you spending an expensive resource because it's hard to get your hands on a charge in this game especially a solo squiggly um solo squiggly is it's a lot of knowing when you can react to things so off of her push blocks if people are being too ambitious trying to get back in um if you know you push block them far enough away or they committed in the air or something, SBO and you either get a counter hit or force them to block and then you can get out of the corner. Daisy is really good not as a mash reversal, but as a reactive reversal. It beats so many things if you see they have committed to something. Um, but you have to use it on reaction because the moment you start preemptively daisying you will get blown up it'll be a not fun time at that point don't start sbo to establish on dom dominance don't do that that's the day one swiggly that is that it will also lead you to get getting blown up very easily meter is one of her most powerful um defense options just because of she doesn't have specials that do it for her yeah Ugo could get, out of, could get out of it Eliza could get out of it Ban can get out of it um, if you do it right Parasol could get out of it um, call an assist for the assist to take a hit Valentine could get out of it Double can get out of it Round Cert Reflector could get out of it <laughs> so there's, there's a lot of things they can just nullify round start SVL. Well, it, it is solo robot. They were yeah. asking us. It is, it is solo. Robot. Yeah, yeah. Let's see that. No, that's... And the last one. Oh, that one's from that was from Gothsan. That's a name. Single <laughs> Gothsan. Uh, last one from Billinos. How and when exactly should I zone with Fuqua? Oh, man, speaking of Fuqua, this right here. Oh man, if you want to zone with Fuqua, uh, if, we're, if we're at full screen, you're always going to be wanting to do this. This, you just kind of do this. Um, a lot of characters can have an easier time dealing with this, but if you're if you're lower to the ground, it's kind of rough. Um, <laughs> it's a hard a time sometimes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, and doing all that stuff. Um, if they're f slightly closer to you, you want to be abusing uh, jump, jump ball uh, with super jump, super jump, double jump, jump ball to to contest anybody below you. Um, if they're just slightly above you, up back, up back, and doing uh, in fireball, that's pretty decent. Uh, and then you just kind of mix that in with shadows. Um, it all depends on the the distance that you're at. Um, Yeah. One thing I will say about this question is no, I, I would dissuade you from viewing it as like hard zoning. You can never commit to it for a full option, very similar to how Parasol or Val are. You are throwing out True. stuff to force them. You, you are forcing where you want them to go, so you can then answer it with her really dumb buttons like the jumping light punch. So like you throw True. a ball and they jump over it and then you just air to air them and win. Um... Uh. But yeah, well, mid screen, yeah. full screen, balls and clones, shove them into a space, and then once you feel like you know how they're going to respond to things, uh, deal with it before you run yeah. yourself into the corner. That Pretty is one of the worst you. things to do. You commit too hard to it, and then you get hit, and all of a sudden you're in the corner and dead because being in the corner in this game is just it's the a, it's a rough pain. time being in the corner. That's where games go to die. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if you're at full screen, mid screen, you mostly want to be tossing out HR ball, 
be doing this, and Fireball's pretty good at this distance. Uh, L Fireball has its uses, you can do one of those things where you toss it out, because it'll just keep going ad nauseum until it hits something, or encounters an object or something. Um, so, like, this potential- the only problem with this is that you can't throw out any other Fireball if it's on the screen like this. So, you're stuck in the recovery, you can't do anything else. Um, you gotta wait for the Fireball to return to you, uh, for you to re-reactivate the Fireball. Um, and then just combine that with Shadows and stuff. Uh, depending on the ranges. You mostly want to be using this because this is your easiest hit confirm. Um, this has the longest range. Um, uh, if you if you pair the the fireball hit with the M Shadow, uh, M Shadow is going to rush after you get the hit to be able to confirm. So that, that kind of improves its range. Like yeah. that. <laughs> so... Um, <laughs> That's, that's the only kind of quirk that retained from beta, which is kind of a weird thing. Yeah. Um, uh, we're, we're actually... We're pretty much done. <laughs> so, um, but it's pretty much how you how you do the Fuqua stuff there. Uh, I have a Fuqua crash course somewhere. I think I think Hamey linked it at one point. I forgot which one. Uh, you could always relink it. But, uh... That covers all of the questions. July to now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I guess if anybody has any other questions, we're probably ended there. Yeah. Are there any other burning inquiries from chat? Any other burning questions? I actually haven't checked if that works on crouching opponents. It probably doesn't, and I'm going to be so upset. Oh, there it is. <laughs> no. <God> dang it. <laughs> I forgot to check Have that. Have confirmation. <laughs> no! Granted, oh. no one should be crouching there because I'm in the air, but someone That's will true. and I'm with, and I'm going to be so upset. Someone probably will. Uh, do not get better damage with Gato instead of Adslide. Are Are you talking about for this route? No, it doesn't. Do any difference and um that's the only way from point blank i can get two hits because the second one whiffs if uh <laughs> cats <dead>. <laughs> <laughs> your phone auto corrected nice <laughs> but yeah i have that's, that's interesting it's fun i mean that's a gimmick because i can only hit the one side as far as i know but yeah it's Crazy. Seem like people yeah, I... have burning questions. <laughs> My dome. Alright. Oh, 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 wait, Diamond. Uh, how do you deal with people calling DP assists in the middle of your block strengths? Uh, uh... Question. <laughs> How do you deal with a DP assist when it's called in the middle of a block stream? I mean, most of the time, I'm fishing for that because I'm a lunatic and I have fast buttons, so I try and hit True. it before the iframes come out. And oftentimes you can if they're calling it that ignorantly. Um, if you mean by... They, like, push block you out and then you try and get back in, and as you're trying to get back in, they call it... Um, Either you have a really long range low you try and clip them with, that will hit it. You can try and chicken block it. I know Kenji did that to me a lot and it murdered me. Um, other than that, you kind of just call your own assist, wait a second and respect it, and try and then force them into pressure again. Because I'll say that it's the way, or, or just heavily bait the DP assist and then punish for it. Yeah, that, that's one of my problems. I'm in the corner trying to keep people out, and I go, save me, and then I just die. <laughs> save you, and then, no! Kick me out. And it's, and it's a bad time. Um, so you certainly have to be careful with your own DP assist calls, uh, uh, aside from the opponents. Uh, especially if they're just calling it willy-nilly. That's, that's just like, they're just asking for you to hit them. So. Yeah. Most be DPs have dead zones, if they're playing beat extend. Pray, <laughs> um, <laughs> but, 
But yeah, it'll. If they're doing it super egregiously, oftentimes you'll catch it as it's jumping in. Um, if they're doing it after they push block you out, you kind of have to respect it. But oftentimes you can counter call it and then force your turn again. So it's. There's, it's kind of flavor of the situation. Yeah. Pick an option that'll possibly deal with it and then go from there. Or if you want to be a lunatic, uh, then you think they're going to press a button behind uh, reverse <laughs> super. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but. Pretty much. Honestly, it has won me games. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it just kind of works. I know Yo-Yo really likes pillaring on people's PBGC timing windows. It's similar to that. It's just like that is true. Bidding, if you think we're gonna commit to something, um, feel free to call them out on it if they're being really predictable. Yeah. Beyond that, oh, robots asking if you have your fiber and JHP down. I, I haven't tried it in a minute. Yeah, I do. I I don't have routes that use it very often anymore because I have this confirm which I'd screw up enough. Oh you're light. Oh you were so close. Out. I don't delay it. <laughs> delay it. You're so close. God I hate lights so much. They make lights me delay the... things. Uh... <laughs> it's always I think if there's anything else well we'll probably call it here. Thank you everybody for stopping by and Asking and us answering questions has been pretty cool. Uh, I think we've got through everything. Uh, so if you'd like to ask more questions, please do feel free to sign up for some get great. Ask a question. It's right here. It'll be great. And Gray's really just just asking for games. Hey. <laughs> He's all about. It. He's like playing wood games. <laughs> All right. If you like to see more Skullgirls, sorry, Skullgirls, be great every Wednesday at 8 p.m. EST. I'm in other time zones. And we'll, we'll, we'll hand it over to Gray. Oh my gosh. See you all next time. Bye, everybody. Take care, y'all. <laughs>